Hi everybody, I'm Meredith and I am a star beauty guide here at Limelight by Alcone. And um, today I wanted to walk you through my everyday run of the mill, um, mom on the go, getting out of the house makeup routine. We all know those days, you know, those days where we just need to get out of the house. Well, this is what I do to get uh, in and out of the house in about 10 minutes or, or under, okay? Super easy. Um, I have put moisturizer, wash my face and put moisturizer on. I'm going to start with our first base primer. Shake it up. Spray. You just want to mist your face. Okay. While that dries, we are going to, I do my eyes first. Now, some people um, do their foundation first. I do my eyes first um, simply because it helps with any um, fallout that I might get from my shadows. Um, and it allows my primer to, to dry. So I use, instead of um, an eye primer, I use Arkin's Waterproof Concealer in Zero, shade Zero. Um, I could also use shade Three. You know, it really is a preference. And I'm also just using our concealer brush by uh, Limelight by Alcone. And I'm just very quickly gonna just kinda dab some on. All right, I'm looking. Off to the side because that's where my mirror is. Okay, again, you're not looking for this to be perfect, and I'm just going to rub it in. So, this is great as a primer um, because it's waterproof. So, it really sets your shadows and um, it gives you a waterproof base for them. Okay, primer done. Now, we are going to move on to shadows. And I am using Lime Up by Alcones, our new shadow formulation. This is the Feeling is Neutral palette. Super creamy, um, super amazing colors. Love, love, love. It's perfect for everyday use. That's what I really love about it. Um, you know, I'm a mom on the go most of the time. So this is perfect for me, um, you know, for everyday life, right? We, I mean, that's, that's what we're looking for. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with our brush uh, number seven. It's just a fluffy shadow brush. I am going to go into this very, um, it's a very neutral, just like a, a beige, okay? You saw. Tap in, tap out the excess. And this does not have to be perfect. I am simply sweeping my entire lid. Just basically um, getting something on that primer. Okay, I'm gonna do it on both eyes. Okay. All right, I also like to do my liner before the rest of my shadow. So I do that base coat on my shadow. Then I'm gonna go with my eyeliner. This is the Perfect Eyeliner Pen um, from Limelight by Alcone. Is a liquid liner. Look at that tip. It is smudge proof. Um, so it is great. Gosh, I got shadow or something all over my hands. Um, it is great. It's great if you want to do just a quick everyday liner, if you want to do a wing liner, um, it will perform for you however, however you need to. My trick for eyeliner, I have hooded eyes. My top um, of my lids actually come down and touch. So I have to be really careful. Things will transfer very quickly, um, almost immediately with me. Um, this does need just a second to dry, um, and then it is smudge proof, but it will transfer if, uh, if it's touched, you know, when it's wet. So what I do, and I have a separate demo on this, um, so I'm just going to quickly, quickly go through it. I tilt my head back, okay, and it's hard. It's, sorry you're looking at my nose. Um, it's hard to do this holding my phone, so I'm kind of looking off to the side. I'm going to tilt my head back, but do you see when my head is tilted back? My lids are nice and flat. I'm looking straight ahead, but my eyes are open and my lids are flat, and that allows me to very quickly, sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time, very quickly get that shadow line. It also is giving it a second to dry so that I'm not going to transfer it. I do the other eye. 
I get too close to my if you need to go back in and adjust the corners you can and again um, I'm gonna go back and touch this up after I have the rest of my shadow on okay so by doing that tilting I've allowed the um, the liner to dry so it's not going to transfer okay so now we're going to do a base coat on the lower part of my lid um, for every day I typically do um, a light brown shade I am going to go with this one right here okay today we are going to use that same style fluffy brush Again, you don't need much. Dip it in, tap off the excess. This, I'm going to more place it uh, because I want to focus below the crease. Okay, again, same color. Dip, tap the excess. Same thing on the other eye. Focusing below the crease. Okay, double check, make sure that looks even. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. All right, now we are going to go in and do a crease color. And for that, we are going to use Limelight's brush number 10. It is a dome blender, okay? You can see how, see how that's like a domed top. It is perfect for getting right into like your eyeball socket. So this is where you can go um, with a darker color. I today am going to, I'm going to go with this one down here. Okay. Same thing. Don't need much. I'm going to look straight ahead and like a windshield wiper. Go in um, almost following along my eyeball socket. I'm only going to go about halfway okay I can come back in these shadows are super blendable I can come back in well I will come back in later and blend it out but right now I'm gonna focus as I'm looking straight ahead on the outer part of my eye same thing on the other side And okay, it looks like I got more shadow on the one eye, so we're just going to go back in and adjust this one. And I'm not looking for perfection right now because I'm going to go back in and blend. Remember, this is mom on the go, out the door, right? I'm also going to bring it slightly over um, the same color along my lash line. Okay. All right. Now we are going to go in with an angled fluffy brush. Okay. We're going to go in um, with a light color. I am using this very pale shade. It almost comes across as white here, but it's a very pale pink. Tap. I'm going to go in the inner corner of my eye and up and around under my brow line. Same thing. Tap. Bring it around. Up under my brow line. That's working to highlight that inner corner of my eye. Okay, now we are going to go in with any kind of a, um, a blending brush, really. This is just, it's not a dome blender, it's just, I think, just called a blending brush. Um, it's blush number, er, brush number eight in the Alcone line. Um, but you can really use anything you have, a flat. Um, sometimes I use this brush, right? Anything, anything that you have that's going to work to blend that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to work to bring that crease color 
um, more towards the inside of my eye, okay, and down a little bit. So you still want, you want to blend so you don't have sharp edges, okay, you don't want to ever have sharp edges on your shadow, but you still want to, you know, keep, uh, keep the colors defined. You still want to see that you have a few colors on, right? You know, we've used two colors. We don't want to mess that up. You don't want to ruin your hard work. So same thing. We're blending in, blending down. Just smoothing out the edges giving a nice even look to both eyes. And again, you always want to um, assess for symmetry. You always want to see, you know, do your eyes look the same? I mean, they don't have to be perfect. We're not perfect. Our, my eyes aren't exactly the same. As a matter of fact, my eyes are two different colors. I don't know if it comes across in the video, but I have one brown eye and one green eye. So, okay. So I think that that looks pretty even. So I'm going to go with that. Um, the next thing that I would do is I would look to see if I need to um, touch up my liner at all. That's when I would do that now. Come back in. Um, this eye looks like it needs just a little bit more. Other eye. Just a tad too. Not much. A lot of times what I'm doing here is I'm doing more um, of the outside, outer, I don't know, half of my lid, kind of thickening that line up. Okay, that done. We are going to move on to foundation. Now, I have done foundation. You guys have seen me do it with the um, Blenderful. You can do it with a sponge. You can do it any number of ways. On my mornings, when I want to get out the door quick, this is what I use. Plain, old, big, all-purpose powder brush. Here's my foundation, okay? I'm going to dip that in. You don't need much. I don't even know if the camera picks that up, right? I'm gonna tap and swirl. Go back in, pick a little more up, tap, and swirl. Um, you can use this technique with this brush. Um, I like this on quick days because the brush is obviously larger, so you're covering um, a larger surface of your face quicker. Um, you can also use a stippling brush. Okay, same exact technique. Um, just takes, you know, a little bit longer because you've got a smaller surface area of your brush. And, you know, it depends on how much coverage you need, how much you're looking for. Um, today, you know, it is summer. Um, I do have a little bit of color on my face, thanks to our vacation. Um, so I'm going to go pretty light on my coverage. And notice I am blending down onto my neck, and I'm blending um, onto the start of my ears, too. You don't want that demarcation line. But just like that, I have gotten my foundation on. Super quick, super easy. Um, Again, you can go as light or as dark, even with this technique, as you need your coverage to be. Okay, foundation check. Um, the next thing we are going to do, after I apply my foundation, I go back in and I am going to touch up my eyes, okay? I'm gonna use my foundation and I'm gonna use our concealer brush. I'm just going to, just a little bit, a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. I'm going to follow the line here. I'm just cleaning up the corners of my eyes and giving a straight line for my shadows, okay? Um, some people, you know, do, they'll do tape, 
you know, when they do their shadows, that's a big um, hack, you know, like Pinterest hack, lifestyle hack that you can find. Um, this works just as easy. And you can go in. There you go. Okay. Um, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do my brows. So we're going to do brows super quick. Again, we're going to use this brush from Limelight Balcone. It has a spoolie on one end and an angled shadow um, liner brush on the other. And we are going to use um, setting spray, our 10 years younger setting spray, and eyeshadow. We are going to use number 26, um, a corkable. So first, I'm going to take the spoolie. I'm going to brush my brows up. And I am lucky that my brows really, I have to actually get them waxed because they come in. Um, they come in pretty good. But, okay, we're going to spray that and dip it in. Um, but it is nice to go in and just get those thin areas. Um, oh, actually, I lied. We're not using 26. Um, it is a corkable, but it's not 26. We're using this. Uh, this color right all the way on the end. In, tap, and then, okay, I have to look over the side to do this. Small, even strokes. Can you see that? So on me, it's not a huge difference. It's really kind of subtle. But can you see how the middle and kind of the outer edge is filled in a little more than it is on this brow? So let's do, let's do this one. And you want to have your strokes, um, like I said, be small. And you want to follow the way the hair would naturally grow, okay, or lay. So here... We're actually, I don't know if you can see that, I'm going up, okay, because that's the way the hairs are. And then I'm kind of going to turn my brush and uh, go sideways. And then at the end, I'm going to actually almost be going down. But there you go. Brows, done. All right. All that is left um, on my quick in, you know, quick in and out the door days. Um, I don't usually contour on those days because again, I'm in and out the door. I'm running the grocery store. I'm, you know, doing whatever. I am going to use um, four and five are my go-to blushes. And this is six. Um, it is glowing. It is a uh, an amazing highlighter. So I am going to go in with our blush brush, angled brush. It's number three. And I am going to do number four today. You do not need much. Not at all. The first time I used these blushes, I looked like, um, what's her name from Drew Carey? Uh, with the, the, the red cheeks. I can't think of what her name is, but yeah. So I'm going to go in, and I'm kind of just going to go up, and then kind of like a little V. Okay, I just want just a touch of color on my cheeks. Same thing on the other side. Remember, it is uh, the magnetic closure. Again, do you see how look? Do you see how little I need to touch, and I still have to tap it off? If not, Mimi was that her name? I think her name was Mimi. Um, if not, you're gonna be looking like a clown. Okay, so looks pretty even to me. Now I am going to go in with this pointed blush brush, I think is what it's called. It is actually brush number one. And I am going to go into the highlighter, blush number six, glowing. Um, sometimes if I really want a super highlighted effect, I will spray this first. Um, today I'm doing quick and simple, so I'm not going to. Um, I will spray it with either setting spray or the primer. And I'm just gonna do that above my blush line Okay. I'm going to also do it down my nose and kind of across my forehead. Okay. All right. So all that is left is mascara and lips. I do my mascara after I do my setting spray. So 
This is 10 Years Younger Setting Spray. Shake. Spray. Now we're gonna go in with our mascara. This is the Perfect Mascara from Limelight by Alcon. It is a one-step fiber mascara. Fibers in the product, ladies. I don't know if you can see that, but it is not clumpy. Um, it's amazing. It is amazing. So, swirl tip, do not pump your wand, okay? Swirl it to load it. Um, when you go up and down, you're loading bacteria onto your wand. So here we go. Shimmy from the base of your lashes up. And you know what I would love to know? Why do women, when we are putting on our mascara, why do most of us have our mouth open? Like, is there some kind of law that, you know, I don't know, natural order of things? I don't know if you can see the difference on camera, but it's huge. I have like non-existent lashes. So this is huge for me. I love that it's one step, that I'm not getting spider looking lashes, and that I can be in and out the door. Um, if I have extra time, I might curl my lashes. Um, but that's not, that's not something I do every day. One coat, two coats, up to you. Um, let's today, let's go, let's go back in and we'll do an extra coat. So this stuff is buildable too, so you can, you know, build it up as much as you need. So can you guys see? I'm trying to get close. Can you see the length that I'm getting? It's insane. And see, I'm twirling it in the tube, not pumping it. And I have a tendency on days when I am just momming it. I don't usually um, I don't usually line my lower lids or do I um, put mascara on. Okay. Last and final step is I'm going to go back in with a powder brush and I'm going to go in with our perfect press powder. It is translucent. You can use as much as you want. It is not going to impart color. And I'm gonna go back in and just set my makeup. Um, yeah, I use the setting spray. I prefer less of a dewy look. Some people like a dewy look. Um, if you prefer a dewy look, you can do the powder first and then do the setting spray. I do it this way. Okay. And then we can throw on a gloss. I'm gonna put use Dream. Let me see that dream today. It's um, it's a pink. It's a pretty pink. I like it. And these glosses are amazing. They are um, not sticky. They smell amazing. And they really do last. Okay, there we go. Quick and easy out the door. Um, I know this is longer than 10 minutes. It's because I was uh, yip yapping with you. Um, but trust me, you can do this in under 10 minutes. Be out the door looking great, looking your best. And, uh, you know, doing your momming. Doing your, you know, whatever whatever you need to do. It's certainly achievable to have um, a full face of makeup and have that confidence, that self-esteem boost that it gives you. And still uh, still do all your your day-to-day, -day, your mom things. You know, get out the door quickly. Trust me, I'm a mom of three. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So, I am Meredith. Um, I'm a star beauty guide here at Limelight Bio Cone. If you like what you've seen in this video and you want to see more, please um, click like and su subscribe down below. And I will see everybody later. Bye.